Osmium, Wikipedia article audio. Osmium is a chemical element with symbol OS and atomic number 76. It is a hard, brittle, bluish-white transition metal in the platinum group that is found as a trace element in alloys, mostly in platinum ores. Osmium is the densest naturally occurring element, with a density of 700422590000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
osmium dioxide is black, non-volatile, and much less reactive and toxic. Only two osmium compounds have major applications, osmium tetroxide for staining tissue in electron microscopy and for the oxidation of alkenes in organic synthesis, and the nonvolatile osmates for organic oxidation reactions. Osmium pentafluoride is known, but osmium trifluoride has not yet been synthesized. The lower oxidation states are stabilized by the larger halogens, so that the trichloride, tribromide, triiodide, and even diiodide are known. The oxidation state plus one is known only for osmium iodide, whereas several carbonyl complexes of osmium, such as triosmiumdodecacarbonyl, 12, represent oxidation state zero. In general, the lower oxidation states of osmium are stabilized by ligands that are good S donors and P acceptors. The higher oxidation states are stabilized by strong S and P donors, such as O2 and N3. Despite its broad range of compounds in numerous oxidation states, osmium in bulk form at ordinary temperatures and pressures resists attack by all acids and alkalis including aqua regia. Osmium has seven naturally occurring isotopes, six of which are stable, 184, OS, 187, OS, 188, OS, 189, OS, 190, OS, and 192, OS, 186. OS undergoes alpha decay with such a long half-life times 10-15 years, approximately 140 times the age of the universe, that for practical purposes it can be considered stable. Alpha decay is predicted for all seven naturally occurring isotopes, but it has been observed only for 186 OS, presumably due to very long half-lives. It is predicted that 184, OS and 192, OS can undergo double beta decay but this radioactivity has not been observed yet. 187, OS is the daughter of 187, Re and is used extensively in dating terrestrial as well as meteoric rocks. It has also been used to measure the intensity of continental weathering over geologic time and to fix minimum ages for stabilization of the mantle roots of continental cratons. This decay is a reason why rhenium-rich minerals are abnormally rich in 187 OS. However, the most notable application of OS isotopes in geology has been in conjunction with the abundance of iridium to characterize the layer of shocked quartz along the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary that marks the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Osmium was discovered in 1803 by Smithson Tennant and William Hyde Wollaston in London, England. The discovery of osmium is intertwined with that of platinum and the other metals of the platinum group. Platinum reached Europe as platina, first encountered in the late 17th century in silver mines around the Choco department, in Colombia. The discovery that this metal was not an alloy, but a distinct new element, was published in 1748. Chemists who studied platinum dissolved it in aqua regia to create soluble salts. They always observed a small amount of a dark, insoluble residue. Joseph Louis Proust thought that the residue was graphite. Victor Collet Descottels, Antoine Francois, Comte de Fourcroy, and Louis Nicolas Vauquelin also observed iridium the black platinum residue in 1803, but did not obtain enough material for further experiments. Later the two French chemists Antoine François Fourcroy and Nicolas Louis Vauquelin identified a metal in a platinum residue they called ptine. In 1803, 
Smithson Tennant analyzed the insoluble residue and concluded that it must contain a new metal. Vauquelin treated the powder alternately with alkali and acids and obtained a volatile new oxide, which he believed was of this new metal which he named ptene, from the Greek word pt. Four-winged. However, Tennant, who had the advantage of a much larger amount of residue, continued his research and identified two previously undiscovered elements in the black residue, iridium and osmium. He obtained a yellow solution 2042 by reactions with sodium hydroxide at red heat. After acidification he was able to distill the formed OSO4. He named it osmium after Greek osma meaning a smell, because of the ashy and smoky smell of the volatile osmium tetroxide. Discovery of the new elements was documented in a letter to the Royal Society on June 21. 1804. Uranium and osmium were early successful catalysts in the Haber process, the nitrogen fixation reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen to produce ammonia, giving enough yield to make the process economically successful. At the time, a group at BASF led by Karl Bosch bought most of the world's supply of osmium to use as a catalyst. Shortly thereafter, in 1908, cheaper catalysts based on iron and iron oxides were introduced by the same group for the first pilot plants, removing the need for the expensive and rare osmium. Nowadays osmium is obtained primarily from the processing of platinum and nickel ores. Osmium is one of the even-numbered elements, which puts it in the upper half of elements commonly found in space. It is, however, the least abundant stable element in Earth's crust, with an average mass fraction of 50 parts per trillion in the continental crust. Osmium is found in nature as an uncombined element or in natural alloys, especially the iridium-osmium alloys, osmiridium and iridosmium. In nickel and copper deposits, the platinum group metals occur as sulfides S, tellurides, antimonides, and arsenides, in all these compounds platinum is exchanged by a small amount of iridium and osmium. As with all of the platinum group metals, osmium can be found naturally in alloys with nickel or copper. Within Earth's crust, osmium, like iridium, is found at highest concentrations in three types of geologic structure, igneous deposits, impact craters, and deposits reworked from one of the former structures. The largest known primary reserves are in the Bushveld igneous complex in South Africa, though the large copper-nickel deposits near Norilsk in Russia, and the Sudbury Basin in Canada are also significant sources of osmium. Smaller reserves can be found in the United States. The alluvial deposits used by pre-Columbian people in the Choco Department, Colombia are still a source for platinum group metals. The second large alluvial deposit was found in the Ural Mountains, Russia, which is still mined. Osmium is obtained commercially as a byproduct from nickel and copper mining and processing. During electro-refining of copper and nickel, noble metals such as silver, gold and the platinum group metals, together with non-metallic elements such as selenium and tellurium settle to the bottom of the cell as anode mud, which forms the starting material for their extraction. Separating the metals requires that they first be brought into solution. Several methods can achieve this depending on the separation process and the composition of the mixture. Two representative methods are fusion with sodium peroxide followed by dissolution in aqua regia, and dissolution in a mixture of chlorine with hydrochloric acid. Osmium, ruthenium, rhodium and iridium can be separated from platinum, gold and base metals by their insolubility in aqua regia, leaving a solid residue. 
Rhodium can be separated from the residue by treatment with molten sodium bisulfate. The insoluble residue, containing RU, OS, and IR, is treated with sodium oxide, in which IR is insoluble, producing water-soluble RU and OS salts. After oxidation to the volatile oxides, RUO, 4 is separated from OSO, 4 by precipitation of 3RuCl6 with ammonium chloride. After it is dissolved, osmium is separated from the other platinum group metals by distillation or extraction with organic solvents of the volatile osmium tetroxide. The first method is similar to the procedure used by Tennant and Wollaston. Both methods are suitable for industrial scale production. In either case, the product is reduced using hydrogen, yielding the metal as a powder or sponge that can be treated using powder metallurgy techniques. Neither the producers nor the United States Geological Survey published any production amounts for osmium. Estimations of the United States consumption date published from 1971, which gives a consumption in the United States of 2,000 troy ounces, would suggest that the production is still less than one ton per year. In 2012, the estimated U.S. production of osmium was 75 kilograms. Because of the volatility and extreme toxicity of its oxide, Osmium is rarely used in its pure state, but is instead often alloyed with other metals for high wear applications. Osmium alloys such as osmiridium are very hard and, along with other platinum group metals, are used in the tips of fountain pens, instrument pivots, and electrical contacts, as they can resist wear from frequent operation. They were also used for the tips of phonograph styli during the late 78 RPM and early LP and 45 record era, circa 1945 to 1955. Osmium alloy tips were significantly more durable than steel and chromium needle points, but wore out far more rapidly than competing, and costlier, sapphire and diamond tips, so they were discontinued. Osmium tetroxide has been used in fingerprint detection and in staining fatty tissue for optical and electron microscopy. As a strong oxidant, it cross-links lipids mainly by reacting with unsaturated carbon-carbon bonds and thereby both fixes biological membranes in place in tissue samples and simultaneously stains them. Because osmium atoms are extremely electron-dense, Osmium staining greatly enhances image contrast in transmission electron microscopy studies of biological materials. Those carbon materials have otherwise very weak TEM contrast. Another osmium compound, osmium ferrocyanide, exhibits similar fixing and staining action. The tetroxide and a related compound potassium osmate are important oxidants for chemical synthesis, despite being very poisonous. For the Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation, which uses osmate for the conversion of a double bond into a vicinal diol, Carl Berry Sharpless won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2001. OSO4 is very expensive for this use. So no 4 is often used instead, even though the yields are less for this cheaper chemical reagent. In 1898 an Austrian chemist Auer von Welsbach developed the Oz lamp with a filament made of osmium, which he introduced commercially in 1902. After only a few years, osmium was replaced by the more stable metal tungsten. Tungsten has the highest melting point among all metals, and its use in light bulbs increases the luminous efficacy and life of incandescent lamps. The light bulb manufacturer Osram derived its name from the elements of osmium and wolfram. Like palladium, powdered osmium effectively absorbs hydrogen atoms. 
This could make osmium a potential candidate for a metal hydride battery electrode. However, osmium is expensive and would react with potassium hydroxide, the most common battery electrolyte. Osmium has high reflectivity in the ultraviolet range of the electromagnetic spectrum, for example, at 600 A osmium has a reflectivity twice that of gold. This high reflectivity is desirable in space-based UV spectrometers, which have reduced mirror sizes due to space limitations. Osmium-coated mirrors were flown in several space missions aboard the space shuttle, but it soon became clear that the oxygen radicals in the low Earth orbit are abundant enough to significantly deteriorate the osmium layer. The only known clinical use of osmium is synovectomy in arthritic patients in Scandinavia. It involves the local administration of osmium tetroxide, which is a highly toxic compound. The lack of reports of long-term side effects suggest that osmium itself can be biocompatible, though this depends on the osmium compound administered. In 2011, Osmium and osmium compounds were reported to show anti-cancer activity in vivo, it indicated a promising future for using osmium compounds as anti-cancer drugs. The Sharpless dihydroxylation, RL equals largest substituent, RM equals medium-sized substituent, RS equals smallest substituent. Post-flight appearance of OS, AG, and O mirrors from the front and rear panels of the space shuttle. Blackening reveals oxidation due to irradiation by oxygen atoms. Metallic osmium is harmless but finely divided metallic osmium is pyrophoric and reacts with oxygen at room temperature, forming volatile osmium tetroxide. Some osmium compounds are also converted to the tetroxide if oxygen is present. This makes osmium tetroxide the main source of contact with the environment. Osmium tetroxide is highly volatile and penetrates skin readily, and is very toxic by inhalation, ingestion, and skin contact. Airborne low concentrations of osmium tetroxide vapor can cause lung congestion and skin or eye damage, and should therefore be used in a fume hood. Osmium tetroxide is rapidly reduced to relatively inert compounds by polyunsaturated vegetable oils, such as corn oil. Osmium is usually sold as a minimum 99.9% .9 pure powder. Like other precious metals, it is measured by troy weight and by grams. Its price in 2012 was about 400 US dollars per troy ounce, depending on the quantity and its supplier.